Hi y'all and welcome to another Bedrock tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to easily find natural weather killers in your world without needing to use any external tools. This method is easy and will work on any device. This includes PC, mobile, and console Bedrock editions. First, I'm going to show you an example of a natural weather killer in action. I'm going to go to the location 164, negative 291, and I'm going to dig straight down. So this is our location that I'm going to in this world. And I'm going to dig straight down. So I'm digging all the way down to bedrock level. I'm going to clear out an area. I'm going to place down our pumpkin. So this signifies that this is the um, northwest direction. So this area is north, this area is west, this area is east. So we're going to spawn the wither down here and it's going to spawn in this direction. So we place our soul sand down. Now we're going to place our skulls. And our wither has now spawned over here. So we can clear out some area so we can see. So what I have here is a location in my world that allows me to spawn the wither at bedrock level and suffocate him in floor bedrock. And what's nice about this is because the formation of floor bedrock is independent of the world seed, you likely have this formation in your world. So if you go to these coordinates in the overworld and you don't have a desert and you dig down, you will be able to kill the wither at the same location as I just did. In my previous tutorial of Natural Weather Killers, I showed you how to use a script to find ponds in your world that potentially could generate Natural Weather Killers. Now it was difficult for mobile and console players to use that script to find Natural Weather Killers. This time I've identified hundreds of locations in Minecraft that form Natural Weather Killers and are shared across worlds. So while not every location will work for you, most will, and you can use this list to find natural wither killers that are convenient for you to use in your world. To kill the wither using the bedrock floor, we are looking for a location that allows us to spawn the wither and suffocate it in bedrock. First, we are looking for a location in the world that allows us to spawn the wither at y equals 2. Any higher and we can't trap the wither. And any lower, the wither won't spawn. Second, we are also looking for a bedrock formation east of our spawning location to successfully trap and kill the wither. The location of the wither spawns is determined by the position of the northwest wither skull. Specifically, it will spawn four blocks east of the position of the northwest skull. So this pumpkin marks our northwest position. And so if we spawn our wither here, it will spawn um, to the west. So that was a formation of soul sand that was to the east of our wither skulls. They can also be south, west, north, and actually underneath in both orientations. So the formation needed to successfully suffocate the weather safely is a cross. So this cross needs to have bedrock at y equals 4 or y equals 5. And it's safest to have the middle one y equals 5. So it, you can not suffocate the wither if the middle, um, this fifth block here is not there but it's a bit safer to have that block in. Um, it significantly decreases the chance that the wither can escape. So this is the algorithm 
that Bedrock uses to generate Bedrock floors and the overworld and the nether. Now the nether used to use a different method to generate Bedrock, but it had some issues and it was fixed in 1.16. So if you have any nether chunks in your world that were generated before 1.16, those chunks will contain Bedrock that was generated by a different algorithm. So Bedrock generation is done per chunk and the first thing to notice is that the world seed is not part of this calculation. All that matters when generating a chunk is the chunk coordinates. So the same chunk in two different worlds will use the same seed when generating bedrock. Now the overworld and the nether do set their seeds differently per chunk. So this means that, you know, chunk zero zero in the overworld is not gonna have the same bedrock as chunk zero zero in the nether. So once the random number generator seed is set, the game then goes through each of the 256 X and Z pairs of coordinates in the chunk and then samples a number between two and five and that determines the height of the bedrock. So at a coordinate, there could be two, three, four, or five bedrock blocks at the bottom of the world and that's uniformly distributed. So once that's done, the game then samples a couple more times off of the random number generator before determining how much bedrock is in the next coordinate of the chunk. So how many times it reads from the random number generator between coordinates um, depends on um, the dimension and the biome. So there's always at least one extra value read off the random number generator. Now if the coordinate happens to be in a desert, Solson Valley or Basalt Delta, the game's also gonna sample one more time and this is it's because it's constructing more blocks in the vertical column. So what I mean by desert here, I mean any biome in the overworld that will generate sandstone below sand. So this includes desert biomes, but it also includes beaches as well. Now, if you're in the nether, um, the nether is gonna pull one more random number off of the generator, and that's in order to build the roof of the nether. Given that this is how bedrock generates in the world, I wrote several programs that allow me to simulate bedrock generation and look for locations in the world that form natural wither killers. The locations that I'm looking for have a three by three spawning area of two high bedrock, that's the red wool in this picture. And um, next to that area is a four or five high bedrock that forms a cross and it can be in one of three locations, either the white wool, the blue wool, or the yellow wool in this photo. So the programs I wrote simulate bedrock formation in the world, and they look for locations that match one of these three patterns. Based on what we know about how floor bedrock is generated by the game, we can calculate the probability of finding a wither killer. And so the probability of finding a wither killer is approximately one in 11,000 chunks. So this is a lot of area to search manually, which is why it's important that I automate this search. The results of my research are 138 locations in the overworld and the nether that allow players to trap a wither in bedrock and kill him with suffocation damage. These wither killers at known locations are gonna revolutionize wither killing on bedrock. <laughs> kind of bedrock formation I am looking for. So there's a spawning area, a Y equals two, and to the east of it is a natural wither killer. This is actually one of my favorite um, wither killers I've found so far. There's some nice steps up here. All of um, the wither is in five high bedrock. There's more five high bedrock here that kind of protects the player from skulls. There's even um, this little area back here that the player can spawn in. So if you're using survival, um, and this wither killer is in your world, I highly recommend you use it. This is really one of my favorite ones um, for use in survival. One thing I like about this location is that you can spawn the wither in three different orientations and the wither will be successfully trapped and suffocated. So this gives you a little bit of leeway in case you spawn the wither incorrectly. Now I do recommend if you um, use this wither killer to spawn the wither with the soul sand to the west of the skulls. And that's gonna place the wither in this location and put a lot of bedrock between you, the player, and the wither itself. What you see here are the coordinates of 17 natural wither killers in the game that form at bedrock level in the overworld in normal biomes. So as long as there aren't deserts or beaches, 
near these coordinates, you will have a natural wither killer in your world. These are pretty common and most seeds will have the majority of these in your world. So how do you read this table? So the first one on the list is a wither killer at X equals negative uh, 4,016, Z equals 3,770. So there's a natural wither killer there and you can spawn the wither either in with the soul sand either south or east of the um, wither skulls. And that's what the SE means. So the W means west, the N means north. Stars, so the stars indicate wither killers in which the center part of the wither killer has five high bedrock. While you don't have to use that type of wither killer, I highly recommend it as it is a bit safer. I also recommend you use a western facing one. Um, this allows a little bit more bedrock between you and the spawn wither and tends to be a bit safer experience for a survival player. So my favorite wither killer is the one we're at now, negative 3658, 965. This is a western facing wither killer. There's a lot of bedrock here. It's really safe. As you can see, it's also right next to um, a southeast wither killer. Now here's a list of 30 overworld desert wither killers. So at any of these coordinates, if you happen to have a desert, you will have a wither killer at bedrock level. What's important is the fact that you're in a biome, like a desert or a beach, in which the surface is sand and below that is sandstone. So that is what allows these wither killers to exist. Now if you don't want to spawn the wither in the overworld, Here's a list of 26 locations in the nether that also work as natural wither killers at bedrock level. One thing to remember, if any of these locations was generated before 1.16, these wither killers will not exist there. So here are coordinates for 26 natural wither killers that can occur in Solson Valley or Basalt Delta biomes. So these will only exist if you generated the chunk after 1.16.100 because that's when they made a tweak to the nether generation that allows these wither killers to exist. Up until now, I've been talking about finding horizontal wither killers. So these are wither killers in which you place the soul sand either to the north, south, east, or west of the skulls. Now you can also place the soul sand above the skulls um, in what I call vertical wither killers. And that means you don't require a three by three area. So because vertical wither killers have fewer requirements, they're way more common in the world. And so I pruned the list to find the best ones of that list by requiring you to have a two by three spawning area in which whether you spawn on the left or the right of the spawning area, the wither would spawn in a wither killer um, that had five high bedrock in the middle. So this is kind of like the safest way. No matter which direction you spawn the wither, it's going to be trapped in bedrock and die. So this is a list of 15 wither killers that you would place the wither skulls at y equals two um, in a row from north to south and then um, the soul stand above it. Similarly, this is a list of west to east vertical wither killers in which you would place the wither skulls from west to east at y equals two and the soul sand above them. Whereas the previous wither killer that I showed had three different directions you could spawn the wither and still suffocate it in bedrock, these safe wither killers, regardless of how you spawn the wither, the wither will suffocate. These are much rarer, they're further out in your world, but if you're lucky and you have a desert around these coordinates, you will have a safe wither killer. So if I go to where this cactus is and dig down, so coordinates are negative 2742 by 1773, and I dig down to bedrock level, I will have a wither killer that is perfect. So I'm at bedrock level. I'm gonna clear out the area and I'm gonna spawn the wither. So 
So what you're seeing on the screen are the coordinates for eight safe wither killers. As you can see, most of um, these wither killers are pretty far out. They're not really convenient for most of the world. So the ones I have starred, these are the locations that have five high bedrock at all three possible wither killer locations. And so therefore they are the best possible wither killers in the game. <laughs> So today, I've shown you a hundred and out. Quit it. A hundred and thirty-eight locations where natural wither killers can form in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. With this information, you no longer need to run any analysis scripts to find natural wither killers. So if you're playing on console and mobile devices and want a safe way to automatically farm Nether Stars. Visit a few of these coordinates until you find a natural wither killer that works for you. These are survival friendly, but I recommend practicing in creative until you get a hang of using them. Be sure to check the description of this video and the comments below for more information related to natural wither killers. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and like that ding button. Also, join my discord to stay current on what I'm doing. I'm cooking up a lot of stuff that you won't want to miss. So I'm Rufus, thanks for watching. Ow, quit it.